Не стримена? Ой. <към> Блям. О-о. О-о. да рик. Yes. Hi, everyone. Sorry, I have been talking to no one actually and I thought that I'm already streaming but apparently I wasn't so I am so sorry for this uh, interruption hi Eileen hi uh, Madeline greetings from Australia I'm so glad that you made it uh, to this live session with me today thank you so much for joining uh, I see a couple of you joining me for the second or third time so thank you so much for uh, coming back I'm really glad to have you here today so today uh, I won't be presenting anything basically we're gonna talk about uh, capsule mini wardrobe uh, I have made a video uh, that was a recent upload on Sunday yes it went live on Sunday uh, and uh, I really uh, I really, oh, I, I see Eileen's uh, comment. I love the color of your blazer. Thank you so much. Somebody asked me to show the whole outfit. So let's start with this one. <laughs> so today I'm wearing basic t-shirt. I'm wearing this uh, floral print skirt and this blazer that actually is from my mom's wardrobe. Yeah probably 20 years ago i must say but what i love about uh, vintage clothing pieces that they have this amazing quality and the fabric is super nice i mean taking into consideration that it is uh, around 20 years old i mean it, it looks just perfect and uh, also i am uh, keeping my uh, sleeves in place with uh, just a simple rubbers uh, yeah, here, bands. Th those are actually not here, but uh, yes. So then I can just roll the sleeves up and secure them. And that is it. And uh, I, as well, I'm wearing a small heel today because I felt that I'm living in slippers and sneakers just for too long. So it is time to a little bit feel more, um, I don't know, put together. <laughs> so yeah um maybe maybe we should just talk a little bit about uh <laughs> thank you everyone for writing me messages it's so nice uh to be in contact so yeah great to have you here so just to make sure that we are all on the same page i want to quickly go through the steps that i was covering in my last video about mini capsule wardrobe system so when i posted my post on instagram uh, sara wrote to me that isn't it supposed to be about the basic pieces and this is actually uh, the key that I found out when I was working with my capsule wardrobe and when I was trying to apply the classic approach on my capsule wardrobe. So basically, I just couldn't understand how, you know, I can start building basics when I don't know the color palette that I need to go for when, uh, you know, basically when I look uh, into my wardrobe I see those key pieces that are talking to me for example this blazer or the skirt that I'm wearing today and starting my outfit uh, that the base is actually my key piece my statement piece and then filling in you know the gap with my basic pieces looked to me as a much more uh, understandable and uh, actually um, easier way to think about a wardrobe about the the way how i can uh, really build the outfit so that's why i started to look from this perspective that i really want to start building my uh, capsule wardrobe that is uh, all about those key statement pieces and then look into the those basics how can i fill in the missing gaps uh, and and create uh, a wearable uh, wardrobe so when i hear you know that i don't know like five basic pieces everyone should have well 
there of course uh, this approach might work to somebody but for for me i mean i just then have too many questions uh, in in my head and uh, i just feel that it's just not the system that it works for me personally so uh yeah as you probably could understand i am starting building my capsule wardrobes from the uh, those uh, statement pieces and um, i noticed probably many of you could relate to this that during um some periods in our lives i, I don't know or uh, during the season for example you might feel inspired by colors uh, for example there was a green period in my life just a month or two months ago and i felt really attracted to green color i wanted uh, so many green accents and bags and uh, sweaters and uh, yeah so it was a green moment in my life. And uh, the last capsule that I have created uh, was really based on quite beige, uh, neutral blues, very soft blues colors. I'm looking to the side because I just uh, finished uh, filming one video for upcoming Sunday and I have a part of my capsule wardrobe hanging here. So <laughs> and, you know, when I when I actually uh, have uh, filmed this video, I felt like, you know, I feel that it is a little bit of time for me to infuse some colors. So I just opened my closet, my uh, crazy closet that is behind me uh, full of clothing pieces. And I pulled this blazer and felt, yeah, I'm already ready to infuse some color in my wardrobe. So basically, you know, my approach on capsule wardrobe is uh, just selecting the pieces that really you feel good uh, wearing uh, and uh, that really represents your mood your emotions you are going through the time so that's why i never define the period of time that i'm building my mini capsule for it might be one month it might, might be probably one month is the the mm, biggest period <laughs> of, of time that I can be talking about so yeah but you know this system really allows me to to to, to express myself uh, rather than trying to fit uh, myself and my approach in quite of standardized uh, capsule wardrobes uh, definition so uh, yeah, and it was really very great to see so many responses from you that you are already doing something similar, that you are already applying those steps in your own uh, wardrobe. So it's really great. And I think that this is quite a easy way to, uh, you know, be able to wear the pieces that we already own in our wardrobes, because uh, I feel that... Uh, we do own some really good pieces and uh, quality, high quality pieces, but it might be just not the right time for them. So, and you don't want to get rid of those pieces. So this is kind of the way how I felt that I can keep the pieces that I love, but I can get my outfits ready uh, to represent the um, uh, emotions and the side of me that I want to represent uh, at the given period in my life but it, it sounds very dramatic the given period in this summer <laughs> sounds uh, a little bit more digestible <laughs> so yeah let me just check our live chat thank you so much I love the color of the blazer thank you so much waving from the Philippines you <laughs> my little waves for you as well namaste from india thank you so much for joining me oh my god it's so so great to see you joining this live session from many parts of totally different parts of the world it's just amazing to be able to connect with you thank you guys hello from poland our neighbors hi australia you always look lovely thank you so much uh your blazer color is very good Thank you. Yeah, I think that it is time for me to wear a little bit of uh, raspberry. I just feel great. And you see, I mean, I couldn't pull off this blazer probably last week or two weeks ago. But today I felt it is the day when I can wear this color and I feel great. And when I feel great about the color or the clothing piece, it just unifies everything. And it makes me stand out. And I feel that... 
uh, then the clothing piece actually serves me uh, in a way to represent me how I want to look and and feel and what emotion I want to create in others as well so yeah I think let's just roll the sleeves up and do some work <laughs> um hi silly question from georgie how can we not get bored of the items from the mini capsule great question and uh, this is actually the most important thing that i was thinking and uh, that was actually blocking me from creating a capsule wardrobe as we are talking about mini capsule wardrobe which you can change uh, which you can you know upgrade uh, as long as you feel the need to do so so you can create a mini capsule wardrobe for upcoming weeks it's basically the principle uh, quite similar to the, your vacation uh, capsule wardrobe that you are packing for one week or two weeks but if you really want to have what to wear you have to think about the outfits you're gonna wear and the occasions you're gonna have so I kind of applied this principle and uh, transferred it in a um, uh, more uh, daily life where I'm not on vacation but basically what I do I think about upcoming month or several weeks I think about the occasions and the things I will do and what type of outfits I need to create then I select my key pieces uh, that I just feel that I want to be wearing and those key pieces they might be very neutral and basics uh, but at the same time they might be statement pieces so I just select those key pieces and then uh, taking into consideration uh, the activities I will have I think about the outfits so for example if I have a um, let's say basic jeans if i have a, a pair of jeans that happen to be an amazing pair of jeans and i really feel inspired and i want to wear those jeans and you know the weather is uh uh good <laughs> to wear jeans it's not too hot it's not too cold i mean it's you, you got the point. So then I'm thinking about the activities. So I have this meeting where I have to look, you know, representative and uh, put together and chic. So probably I will want to add a blazer and maybe a pair of uh, heeled mules and uh, nice clutch might be an option uh, if I'm thinking about the ways how I can wear those jeans on a casual day so then uh, my casual outfit formula usually is button down and jeans and sneakers or flat shoes so again I combine the outfit thinking about the activities but I'm taking the base of it uh, my, my my key piece is the base of this outfit and then I'm building around everything uh, to complement this pair of jeans or any other thing that uh, clothing piece that I have selected as my um, key piece so <clears throat> so that's why I think that there is no no way how you can get bored of the items that you have in your mini capsule wardrobe because it's really uh, it's really you know reflecting um, what you want to create and express so that's why it is so great uh, as for example if you would consider the uh, classic approach on capsule wardrobe uh, which basically means that you are creating a capsule wardrobe uh, you know uh, thinking about many upcoming seasons well uh, you know another reason why I could not apply a, a classic approach in my own wardrobe is because I have a little baby boy and you know investing and buying a high quality cotton t-shirt for I don't know 70 euros and uh, the next day I we might be eating uh, I don't know berries for example and you cannot wash berries so easily from the fabrics so you know yeah, I, I just for practical reasons and for uh, because I'm such a fluctuating in moods person, I really felt that it just I cannot um, work around this approach and yeah, something I needed something else. So that's why mini capsule wardrobes and that's why uh, I feel that it is a great way to start wearing the pieces that you love and you own already. Um, oh, that was a long <laughs> talk from my side. Uh, well, also what I wanted to mention that, uh, you know, 
I really like to think in a way to make the things simply, uh, simpler. So that's why uh, when I started my own uh, mini capsule wardrobes, I started to think about certain activities. So for example, I had uh, one activity that I was going to three, four times per week, but I always had to look very put together and uh, chic and uh, sharp <laughs> so that's why i built my capsule wardrobe especially uh, specifically for this reason just in order to be able to quickly swap the things uh, and take my outfit and just be ready in 10 minutes because at the time i was uh s my little baby boy was not going to a um, daycare center so that's why i had only like 10 minutes to get ready and that's it so yeah, but you don't really have to start, you know, reconsidering all your clothing pieces and, uh, you know, making huge plans for upcoming season. Now just start small, think about upcoming week and then you can add the things uh, you're going to notice easier what you are missing. Because usually I feel that when you open the doors of your closet and you see uh, you see your closet packed with pieces without any order, without, you know, totally different styles you tend to, to to lose your sense of style and what's going on there so basically what we tend to do is just to pull the same t-shirt jeans or um, pants and whatever and it's just it doesn't make you feel good about yourself it doesn't make you shine bright <laughs> so yeah those are my thoughts okay now another question Madeline, do you have an estimate for how many items you have in your entire wardrobe, not just your capsule? Whoa, this is this is a question that I am supposed to be very <clears throat> um, scared about to answer because uh, so this is the wardrobe that contains half of this wardrobe is mine and contains many different pieces right there. And uh, I have another wardrobe which is in the hallway that actually holds my mini capsule wardrobe, which is usually combined from uh, roughly up to 15 pieces. Uh, without accessories because I have plenty of shoes <laughs> uh, so but thinking uh, in terms of my um, messy <laughs> wardrobe I really have too many pieces I still have a quite a big walk-in closet at my parents house but those are the pieces that I they might not fit very well right now t uh, to me so um yeah i'm not I, I actually i never never thought about the 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 number of the pieces that i have i have a lot of pieces but um as long as i can create a, any system around those pieces and as long as i can find myself wearing those pieces i think that it's it's totally fine because everyone is different everyone's expression is different and i guess that um even you know being inspired by trends or certain colors or certain seasons or people that you are seeing uh, it is good because it is you know a uh, a moment where we can express and enjoy ourselves. So yeah, that's why I, I don't feel guilty about owning a lot of pieces as long as I am wearing those. And uh, if I'm not, then I, I, um, for example, I had many clothing pieces that were just too small for me and I don't think that I will ever, ever fit those clothes. So I just... Uh, pass those clothes, uh, clothes on to another person who really enjoys those and uh, it is pleasure for me to see those clothing pieces uh, back in life again and being worn by uh, someone else and I think it's, it's uh, quite a sustainable approach as long as we uh, you know uh, use what we own so uh, hi from the Gold Coast Australia oh Thank you so much. So many Australians today. Nice to see you here. I think winter season is coming in Australia. Um, am I mistaken? No. 
and here we are enjoying quite uh, a huge uh, wave of heat it's around plus 30 here in Lithuania and it's very very hot summer the season is just whew. New York thank you so much thank you for joining it's early morning there I know because I have been checking the time <laughs> Uh, just came here to say hello. I gotta go back to work. Thank you so much for joining, Helian. Thank you so much for saying at least hello. This live session will be recorded and will be saved on my YouTube channel, so you can uh, get back and watch it. Um, you know, the uh, on the time that it is uh, fitting your your lifestyle. <laughs> yes, it is winter in Australia. Oh, yeah. It is awesome to be able to connect and talk about those things because life is so different right now in, in, in many perspectives. And it's nice to be able to connect with, with you in a totally different part of the world. Uh, yes. Hmm. Yes, I see another great question from Paris. How can I use a capsule wardrobe when I weight my when my weight fluctuates? This is a great question, and this is actually the question that I have been considering uh, when I was trying to apply the uh, classic wardrobe approach because I felt that uh, it is quite a big commitment for me to create a capsule wardrobe approach for uh, to create a capsule wardrobe for many. F taking into consideration many different uh, upcoming seasons because uh, at that time I was um, I just had a, um, my baby just was born and I was still uh, kind of losing gaining weight and I'm still am <laughs> but uh, it just couldn't work a classic uh, capsule wardrobe approach back then and this is actually the reason why I also I started to look at a mini capsule wardrobe because uh, during the last summer I I lost five kilos and then I went back and then I put on even more. <laughs> so that is also the reason why I feel that uh, especially when you are already, you know, uh, down on the path of raising kids and maybe even having more you just cannot get rid of the clothing pieces that um, you probably will need someday I feel so that's why I like to keep those clothing pieces but of course they are uh, packed and uh, yeah packed away but still I feel that it gives mini capsule wardrobe approach gives you this freedom you know to think about upcoming month and of course if you are planning to lose weight and you are uh, already you know doing some active actions towards uh, getting into better shape you can already think uh, that okay maybe I should start by creating you know five outfits for right now as I am right now and then later on I can see what works and what I want to add and uh, if, for example, you really like uh, a skirt, you, you probably can tailor it after uh, you lose weight. So I think that this mi mini capsule approach uh, gives you even more freedom in terms of uh, using and reusing the pieces that you own. At least I felt uh, when, when, when my weight was fluctuating. And actually it, it, it is fluctuating even right now. But also another important thing is that I feel that when we are addressing our bodies as uh, addressing and dressing our bodies as they are right now, we are kind of approving the way we are. We are already taking care of our bodies, even though we might think that we have to lose weight. And, you know, this approach of mini capsule wardrobe really helps us uh, or really helped me to kind of start appreciate my body more. Um, and, uh, you know, creating even five outfits, it's really good way and good start to start appreciating your body and approving yourself in a way so I think that it's a really great approach <laughs> I mean give me some reasons why a mini capsule wardrobe might not work and I think that I will have an answer to this as well 
<laughs> I don't know. I just um, feel that it is it is it is a great way to start working, especially if you feel that uh, you know you lost a sense of style when you uh, are gaining or losing weight when you are uh, when you do not have any time to think about the outfits when you are always on the run uh, on a go so yeah i'm now trying to think about the reasons why it should not work of course you have to put into some effort and work and try the outfits and um, even take photos of the outfits and make notes for yourself but i think that you know you have to work if you want to have a good result you have to work um, to do some work it's uh, with anything in life so uh, but it is again it is easier to manage if you are working with five, 10 or 15 pieces rather than a closet full of many different pieces. So yeah, hi, hi, mysterious flower. Hi from Poland, hi. Nice to see you here today. Paris, thank you. I just had a baby, so I was curious about it. Yes, uh, I can so relate to you and I really, uh, feel you you probably do not have time you probably do not want to you know do a lot of shoppings and probably you don't have time to do that as well so this is actually the moment where I started to think how can I sort my style out and how can I address the body that I have right now and that was actually the moment when when my when I was raising my baby boy when I started to think about uh, this new approach and apply it so uh, and uh, I I think that I mentioned this in my previous video maybe I didn't but I kind of discovered this approach when I applied uh, si the same system into my baby's wardrobe so he was uh, uh, he was uh, getting weight and growing really fast and I had to swap the things every one three months when he was little up to around one year and three months one year and a half so and I noticed that you know if I do not have a matching top f to go with a pair of trousers or basically if I'm not thinking about the outfits sometimes Sometimes I would end up with totally new things uh, hanging there in his closet and not using those things. And uh, quite quickly I understood that, you know, it's not a way to think about this. And, you know, sometimes when, when I think about my own wardrobe, um, when, you know, it's just easy to put a, a clothing piece with a, a tag on it and forget about it. And sometimes probably we do that. But when I had this um, dedicated section for my baby boy and I was revisiting it over and over and over again, uh, I don't know, like two weeks, um, one month uh, would end and I would have a look. Oh, this is too small. Oh, this uh, I don't ev even need because uh, I am going for a little bit different color palette this time. So, I mean... This is actually how I started to think and to see what works and what doesn't. And uh, when I was able to revisit my son's uh, wardrobe, I really understood those key elements. What makes uh, this closet work and how can I navigate through the pieces that I have in, in his mini capsule wardrobe. And then I started to think, you know, it's really uh, working uh, this system and it really creates a lot of gives me freedom and creates fun and also I am using those pieces effectively uh, meaning that uh, you know I'm thinking about the outfits uh, and uh, I have to invest less but I have more of use of the pieces that I own so and this is actually when I started to think about my own wardrobe how can I you know work with the things that I already have and what what I'm missing and uh, what's even basic pieces pieces are missing in order to fill in those gaps. So yeah, I'm I'm really very excited about this approach. Probably you can tell I just I I can talk and talk and talk about the mini capsule wardrobe. I think that it's great and yeah I I even cannot recognize any downsides of this system. Yeah, I cannot. <laughs> Uh, 
So thank you, Paris, so much for asking great questions. And I hope that you you are enjoying being new month and my warmest greetings to you. Now, Deborah. Deborah, hi, everyone from Northeast England. Hi, thank you so much for joining Lily. I'm over 60 and I hope your style and I love your style, but it is appropriate for mature ladies. But is it appropriate? Um, well, you know, uh, when I think about style, I would say that I never consider age too much. I think that with the age, um, we want to show up more put together, grown up in a way and, 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 and put together. So I think that it is important to consider the elements of timeless, how you can dress so you would look timeless. And that gives a modern twist to your look. And also it, 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 it helps to not to feel, you know, frumpy in a way that we might do. Uh, feel uh, so when I think about my style I have quite a lot of timeless pieces but then I'm looking into the into the ways how I can just uh, you know swap the things a little bit and make them look more modern and um, that I could introduce infuse my personality into the look as well so even let's for example, this my mom's um, the video that I did probably three years ago with my mom, and she was wearing this blazer, and today I'm wearing it. However, I am uh, you know spicing up the look with a white simple T-shirt, a chunky necklace, and those earrings. And uh, on 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 my bottom, I chosen this quite feminine um, flor floral print skirt that I not do so often. So, you know, I'm taking this piece that actually might suit anyone. My mom is right now, mom, how old are you? <laughs> Around probably 70 right now. Uh, and actually she is having a birthday tomorrow. Oh my God. And I don't know how old is she. Oh God. So yeah. Okay. Tomorrow I will, I will know for sure. <laughs> Sorry, mom. Oh my God. I feel so bad right now. So, and um, so the thing is that, you know, this blazer you can wear even if you are, I don't know, 70, 80. Me, I am 33 at the moment, will be soon 34. Uh, and uh, it is, it is a, you know, the thing is, how do you make it look you? How do you play with accessories? How do you add uh, different elements? But um, with the time, I want to look timeless and chic but chic in a way that I understand and identify as chic. So meaning that I will add something personal and um, that would speak about my personality and my style. So my advice would be do not think about your age too much. Think about who you are, how do you want to be perceived and what do you love and what is your authentic sense of beauty. So those are key elements in order to feel great, in order to pull the outfit and to, to, to feel supported by the pieces that you are wearing. So Uma, oh, I'm late to the party. No, you're not late. We're going to hang out for more, I don't know, like 20 minutes or something. So just the right time to join. Um, Madeline, what advice do you have for a mature lady that is big busted and under five foot and a short body? Finding it hard to tuck in tops to accentuate my waist because of my bust. Um, <laughs> yes, so I would say that in your case, if you feel that your bust, uh, is, 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 is the, um, the, the, the most, um, outstanding element that you identify in your body, I mean, you probably 
might be the most self-conscious about then i would say first of all dress in a way to flatter your uh bust so going for v necklines that actually also helps to elongate your body and uh, make your silhouettes and proportions um, more flattering so you know thinking about the things how you can uh balance off your big uh bust because if you are top heavy you most likely might appear uh, even shorter and sometimes even a little bit you know on a frumpy side so addressing your um, heavier top half is key in finding the right flattering uh, pieces for yourself so i would really recommend having a look into my video probably from several years ago where i'm showing on myself how to flatter a uh, big bust so you might have a look into this video and think about you know the elements how you can uh, translate those uh, advices into your own um, wardrobe and 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 style uh, what um, when it comes to tucking in the tops you probably know that i love doing it and i love uh by tucking the tops to change the proportions of our bodies because this is the main uh, element how we can elongate our uh, bottom halves meaning so that you would appear taller and leaner and it also helps to balance off your heavy top half so tucking in tops is really important uh, but of course do that uh, in a level that you would feel comfortable about yourself but i think that in your case if you have bigger bust you have to look into how uh, into the, um, um, the 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 waistline where it is where it hits so probably skipping the those high rise trousers might be quite a good idea maybe mid-rise is uh, the the one that might flatter you and uh, work for you uh, if you are going for high rise then you probably would want to wear something on top just in order to you know create the vertical lines to divide those and come flash a little bit your bust and also the sides so yeah i think that that i am answering this question at least a little bit thank you it's a great question Uma, hi from Malaysia. How to transition from my old style to something more chic, up to date without feeling awkward? Great, great question. I would say that start small. Do not think about uh, preparing a huge capsule uh, or huge wardrobe. Or um, So first of all, I would say that when you are trying to find... Uh, trying to express yourself in a new way or you want to upgrade your style it is important to know what is your style about what is your authentic sense of beauty so uh, really working with mood boards uh, might help and uh, in the beginning i suggest not to consider too much about the clothing pieces i would consider making a mood board uh, combined from many different elements it might be interior even you know the the uh, elements of nature animals uh, pieces of art and uh, other details uh, i was talking about this I think in my um, two weeks ago in my one of the videos on Sundays that I post so you might have a look for more details in that video yes I, I actually yeah I did a video how to discover your personal style hmm. yes so answering your question so start small get to know yourself get to know your needs what do you need to have uh, in order to feel that you do have what to wear and uh, think uh, in, in, in small chunks for example you probably would like to start with I don't know three five outfits for your uh, work then leisure and and so on so just start small and then you can uh, you will feel you know the base and you feel good about yourself and then you will find yourself that you want to level up the game and you will uh, forget about feeling awkward because if you will just you know jump straight into um, 
uh, into into totally new things for yourself, you might feel awkward. But when you are infusing something new, little by little, and when you really did your work and you do know your style and your needs, I think that this is a you know safety pillow how you can not find yourself feeling awkward. And it is quite important because uh, you might be wearing the best outfit, but if you do not feel it in your bones, you just won't pull it off. So it is uh, important to build up your confidence, the, the level of your confidence and the, um, the, um, uh, it should uh, translate into fashion as well. Ah, okay, mysterious flower. How to make it easier? Uh, how to make it easier when you try to get your wardrobe out of old clothes when you feel difficult in giving them away? And I have been heading to this for a while. Well, I think that you know when the when you think about the freedom that you are creating in your wardrobe, it really helps me. I mean. You know, having a lot of clothing pieces that do not really serve you is just is just waste of your time, your effort and your energy. And when you think that, you know, by giving your piece away, you are really creating a chance for this clothing piece and a chance for another person who uh, might enjoy a company of this this clothing piece really just sets you free and you feel that you are doing something good to this clothing piece and to another person and also by doing this you are also creating some space in your own wardrobe but also you are decluttering your own life in a way as well uh, because i feel that when we generates a lot of stuff it might be you know clothing pieces it might be uh, books it might be you know stuff that we do not usually use it actually his uh, has this you know energy and it just i don't know you have to make some space in order to infuse something new and if you have a cup of tea you cannot pour uh, water into it if it's already full and I think that, you know, this way of thinking that you are um, doing something good and you are creating something good by giving it away uh, and not thinking that you, you know, you are just um, wasting your money because it was new and you never worn it. I mean, if you will think in this way, it is it gets much more difficult to say goodbye to those clothing pieces but if you feel if you think in a way that you are creating something new and you are creating something good to other person i think that it's it's amazing to do and it is amazing to swap this um love and care so lily thank you thank you so much for watching what are the must-haves for invert triangle capsule wardrobe inverted triangle capsule wardrobe so inverted triangle means that you have broader shoulders and usually I I see so many women afraid of having broader shoulders but it is totally okay because then in comparison your uh, rest of your body looks leaner so sometimes I even create I have broad shoulders, but I sometimes even uh, accentuate my broad shoulders even more just in order to create leaner uh, body effects. <laughs> so it really depends, must have, uh, as I already talked, I mean, it really depends on your personal style and on your uh, needs. What do you need to have in your wardrobe? So it is quite difficult for me to say you know, to list the must-haves. Uh, this upcoming Sunday, I will be sharing my top essential pieces for a hot summer. So you might have a look into that video. Maybe you will get some inspiration. But um, I would say that 
if you want to balance off your broader shoulders, you want to go for the styles that create a little bit more volume on your bottom half of, of your body. So it might be, you know, paperback trousers or shorts. Uh, it might be voluminous uh, skirts, uh, A-line skirts, A-line dresses as well. Um, so you might look into the pieces that you know, creates the balance between your uh, shoulders and uh, bottom part of your body. I hope that answers uh, your your question. And please have a look uh, into my channel because I did some videos with other ladies uh, on inverted triangle uh, and, and how to find those uh, flattering pieces. Uh, yes, another question, please advise for concerted pear shape. I will also, it's again about the proportions. So you want to, if you want to, <laughs> to balance off your wider uh, bottom half, you have to balance off by creating the volume on your upper half. So this is actually totally the opposite uh, from the triangle capsule wardrobe because you want uh, to... Uh, make your shoulders a little bit broader uh, but it is again uh, based on a quite a conservative approach uh, in other cases you want to but yeah you, you told me that you conservative uh, peer shape mm -hmm. uh, so you might go for the ruffle tops padded shoulder tops um, the pieces that create volume on top in order to balance off your bottom half I also did a uh, few videos with pear-shaped uh, ladies, so you might have a look into those videos just in order to, to get, you know, the idea what is, uh, what is balancing off the proportions and how does it work in real uh, world. So I hope that you will find inspiration there. Thank you, Madeline. Thank you for your questions. Uh, what are the best shorts to color thicker tights? It is a great question and uh, I actually found the best shorts ever. Uh, they are probably not for everyone. I'm now looking to my capsule wardrobe. No, I don't have those here. But I found those, they are quite baggy um, and they have this A-line silhouette, which is flattering because in this way you have quite a lot of fabric around your tights and uh, that's why it creates leaner legs effect and i'll be talking more and showing those particular shorts in my upcoming video that will be will come live on sunday uh, and again it depends on your personal style but i would say that a line shorts uh, that have more volume around the tights will create leaner legs effects and that's uh, might be the ones that you would like to have a look in uh, at also what is important with the shorts to look where they end so you probably don't want uh, your shorts to end at the widest part of your leg so meaning that they shouldn't be too short um now the, the the ones around the knees i would probably style with the longer blazer just I don't know i feel that it's just works better so yeah and actually i never been short girl but uh, shorts girl but uh, this season i don't know i just found those shorts and i i felt very uh, cool in those and uh, that's why i'm now looking into the ways how can i style those shorts um in multiple ways uh Okay, now the next question. What type of tops can really give a slim upper body illusion? Is turtleneck a bad idea? Um, a slim upper body illusion. Well, you know, it depends what do you mean by saying slim upper body illusion and what is your problematic area on the uh, upper part. Um, and, and for example, if you have bigger bust, there are... Mm, a little bit different options than for example if you want to conceal your um, midsection uh, yeah and yeah it would be great if you could be more specific like what what do you want to camouflage 
what what's part of body uh, please do more videos for inverted triangle I hopefully I will have more different women and the body types and color colorings uh, coming into I don't know my style clinic or something <laughs> so we're gonna see that but I really miss working with other women and I'm thinking how can I um, get back onto those uh, mini projects ah so you probably have wider shoulders because you already asked about the okay so if we are talking about the wider shoulders turtlenecks Turtlenecks, well, you know, it is a little bit tricky if you want to wear tur turtleneck by its own. Um, also, turtleneck tops without sleeves, sleeveless tops, they are also might be uh, working opposite in your case. I mean, making your uh, top half even uh, wider and, and bulkier. So I would say that... Um, um, short sleeve uh, v-neck tops are good or crew neck that is not so high on the neck but has uh, a lower neckline so the tops that basically divides your uh, neckline might work uh, really well stay away from the tops uh, halter neck top halter neck tops that basically are cut in this way that are popular but they really look good only on very skinny girls at least in 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 my eyes so uh, and 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 uh, also layering is again great because you can divide your uh, upper uh, half of your body um How much effort, money do you put into your lounge at home clothing? Well, this is a very different question, I would say, because basically you don't actually need uh, much money nor much effort when you think about your uh, the clothing pieces that you are wearing at home. I would say once again, it is um, just putting just a little bit effort and thinking about your you know best colors and how do you feel uh, the most comf comfortable uh, do you want to feel a little bit more elevated or uh, you really feel good uh, and and uplifted even in you know a simple pair of sweatpants and really today's market is full of uh, selection uh, even for the simple you know tracksuit or sweatpants you can find a total different price points and total different uh, quality so it really depends how do you want to feel and how do you want to invest because if you will invest too much you probably will feel a little bit guilty about the clothing piece and uh, yeah it's really finding the balance that you feel is comfortable for yourself uh, but um, yeah so it depends and um, and if but I'm really glad that you are asking this question because you know we sometimes we are focused so much on our how do we appear in this world to others rather than forgetting ourselves how do we look at home when nobody sees us so I think that it's very nice that you are asking this question because um, showing up for yourself and putting some an effort in order to make yourself uh, feel good about yourself i think it's really crucial and we all should do that in order to feel uplifted and and uh, nice in our own company <laughs> um you have got chunkier thicker if you have got uh, thicker legs but find long skirts dresses old-fashioned what would you suggest oh my god today's questions are all about the video that is coming live on wednesday oh, oh, not, not wednesday sunday sunday sorry so actually i am 
also mentioning there is carrot that has a higher slit it's quite a good option to go for because i feel that at least myself i'm not so comfortable with the skirts uh, that are above my knees any longer so i usually wear mid skirts or yeah mid skirts i might go to but sometimes i might feel that i look a little bit frumpy in a way and those skirts that has this high slit really works well in order to making uh, your look more modern in order to uh, create that flow when you are moving I think that is beautiful option to go for a midi skirt with a high slit um, hi I have bustier shorter torso and it's hard to accentuate I do have waistline Mm -hmm. yeah so it also might be an option to to have a look into the tops that has slightly padded shoulder line and i'll be talking about this kind of top in my upcoming video as well uh it really you know depends what you want to create if you want to accent to weight or diminish your body parts but you know i, I see a lot of women very being concentrating and concerned about their uh, broad shoulders but as I already told you I also have broad shoulders and sometimes I even make them look even broader just because then it creates uh, nice proportions and silhouettes but of course if you are uh, on a short uh, if you are shorter if if you I don't know you are self-conscious about your uh, how tall are you then you probably might uh, might stay away from very broad shoulders because it might look uh, it might make you look shorter so yeah also do not forget the power of accessories you can accessorize uh, in order to uh, again uh, diminish the appearance of your shoulders or even diminish the appearance of your big bust um, so it's a great way to to to, to make the eye travel and uh, accentuate the parts that you want to accentuate even you can go with the for big earrings that will create a focal point around your face so it's also a great way you know just sometimes we need to think out of the box and not uh, very directly um, what else elisa what would you invest on if you were a teacher needed to look professional but it's on the move all day and need to be comfortable well it really depends on your personal style but i am a blazer girl and i really love blazers um, again there are plenty of different styles uh, for blazers you know you might go for one um, one button blazer that probably looks uh, looks quite uh, classic but still not too blazerish <laughs> as for example if you would go for um, uh, six uh, buttons blazer that you know might be a little bit more uh, outstanding and 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 statement uh, so I would have a look into elements that might talk about um, your status in a way mm. and would you know make you feel elevated so i think blazer i think good shoes i think uh nice quality watch and if you wear glasses is really amazing thing to upgrade your your styling game and sometimes you can really infuse personality in those small details and elements difficult to 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 to, to say uh, what what exactly you would need to have but i think that you know having look into those things that i mentioned uh, might be quite a good start but again you know what you are wearing are you wearing uh, jeans or trousers well it it depends 
uh, it is important to look at your whole outfit and your circumstances so and your personal stuff <laughs> um, is capsule wardrobe linked with minimalism yes it is the roots are raising from the minimalism or or the uh, minimalistic uh, lifestyle um and uh, a classic uh, capsule wardrobe approach uh, talks uh, a lot about reusing the clothing pieces from season and bringing to another season and 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 so on and talking about the basics in your wardrobe and talking about neutrals in your wardrobe a lot Mm, so yeah i think that the roots comes from the this minimalistic approach now another question from uh, midline is that she is a teacher and i find buying shoes with the heel that is less than five centimeter is crucial it is crucial yes i would agree definitely I often do a blazer or cardigan with a pair of pants rather than a dress, but that's just me. Yes, thank you so much, Madeline, for your answer. Uh, I think that it answer it answers Elisa's question. Well, it really depends. Um, you know how how do you feel good in in what clothing pieces? Maybe you are you like wearing dresses, so it's a little bit different um, approach and outfit formula for you might be applied. So. But definitely, I would say that a heel that is less than five centimeter is is crucial. I would agree because anything a little bit higher will make you feel uncomfortable if you have to uh, stand on your feet a lot. Yeah. But again, if you are wearing nice, uh, clean sneakers, uh, it is also a quite a good option if you are matching it again with a blazer, pair of trousers. I think it's great, chic, and uh, uh, good look for for teacher. Um, I love blazers too, but very reluctant to wear. How to wear blazer without looking bro looking broader on upper body? Um, I would say that there are several important things to pay attention to if you don't want to look you know more like a rectangular or to create even more volume on top than the shoulder line where it hits because for example this is my mom's blazer as i already mentioned and it has a little bit broader shoulder line than my natural shoulder is but uh, if i'm wearing something uh, voluminous on my bottom half it is totally fine because it balances off the proportions but it, if and if I'm wearing something skinny, it also might work. Uh, but in your case, if you want uh, your shoulders to make look not so broad, I would also say that, you know, paying attention to the um, uh, lapels. So if the lapel is uh, very uh, small like this, then as you can already see, uh, the shoulder looks much more broader. And if the lapel is wider, then it just divides the section it uh, shows off the uh, my chest area more and it creates the illusion of of um, uh, smaller shoulder as well also small details like for example one button shirt uh, one button blazer is better option for you uh, than two blazer uh, than two doubled uh, sorry doubled button blazer um also for example the position of the pockets might be also very important so let's just see an example right here so this uh, type of uh, pocket will create uh, a squarish boxier look and uh, if the pockets would be smaller or no pockets then it won't create this uh, this illusion another Lastly, another point that it is important to pay attention to is uh, how the waistline is formed on this uh, blazer. Is it boxy fit or it has, you know, the fitted fit uh, which uh, accentuates your waistline? So, yeah, even, you know, talking about the blazer, there are many, many aspects to pay attention to. But I think that 
you know, knowing those small details really makes you, um, gives you freedom to, 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 to look in a way how you want to look. So I think that today's, today's live session is quite over. I feel a little bit tired and I can tell from my speed and energy level. So I think that it, it is... It is all for today. Thank you so much for joining. I'm so grateful to have so many of you joining this live session and having uh, asking those great questions. Um, really, it's uh, truly it's a joy to be able to to talk to you, and uh, I'm enjoying those sessions more and more. <laughs> So thank you so much once again. Do not forget that on upcoming Sunday, I'll be talking about my essential pieces in my wardrobe. And uh, actually, I will give um, more answers to the questions about the certain pieces that you have been asking today. Uh, so thank you so much and have a great rest of your day and a beautiful upcoming weekend thank you so much midline thank you so much uma thank you so much elisa shelby faith aki everyone thank you so much and sending you lots of love and take care bye